everyone. I'm Dr. Compton. I'm the librarian and media specialist here at the freshman division. Uh, my secretary is Mrs. Hashberger. We are always here to serve you. Today I'm going to go over how to use our, on our online ebook audiobook app called Sora. So this it's this app and a little quick tip if you can't find it, if you do a, a one swipe down with your one finger and type in Sora, it should come up. And if it doesn't, then you'll have to go to self-service and install it. So we're going to continue, it should say Elkhart Community Schools, to sign in with your school Gmail account. Under Explorer, you can see you have all these browsing options available already. And enough that you, you might not even need to use the search function if you're just looking for books to read. Let's say I definitely want a horror ebook. So I'm going to do a search here. And this is where I'm going to refer back to our online catalog, Destiny, for our print books here in our library. Um, search function here is pretty similar to the one I showed you before not a lot of information there and that's going to do a keyword search through all the different formats it's going to give you the broadest number of results you're going to get audiobooks and ebooks and any search term you use is going to uh, go through the author's names the titles the subjects the series title any descriptions of the book so to change that I would use filters and in destiny discover go up here to access those filters. I have to open up search type and I would have to click one of these buttons to change that. If I want to change the, the format, I'd have to go through here and then click apply. That looks very different when I hit filters here, but those same, those same functions are there. I can search title, I can search author, I can go through subjects. So see the, the, the subject search is going to be different because when I click on subjects it gives me a big list of them so rather than doing a search for them uh, they're already provided for me so I want to do one that's a fiction horror book because I'm one of those spooky kids I love horror and uh, for format I want to change it to ebook now when I do a search it's not going to be a keyword search for ebooks and audiobooks it's going to be a subject search for fiction horror books so I click search. So it's not, it, it, this is more browsing than searching because I didn't even put in a search term. So you'll see we have two collections available to us. One is through the Elkhart Community Schools. These are books that are only available to people in our school system. And then you have access to the Indiana Digital Library so through the Indiana State Public Library. And so that gives you access to all of those books. So countless, countless ebooks and audiobooks are available through this. So if it's a, if it has borrow up here, that means it is available. So let's open one up. If I want to see if I like it before borrowing it, I can click read sample. Looks like a regular book. You can click in the direction you want to go. Let's say I want to back up a page. I can click or I can just like dr uh, click and drag. So I'm going to close this out. So I'm going to hit close. Now, if I want to borrow it, just click borrow. Some of them, it looks like, have hyperlinks, which is nice. Not all of them do. That's very convenient. Like if you want to skip to chapter four, you just, in the table of contents, click chapter four and it goes straight to that page. Let's go down to the shelf. So these are the loans I have out. Looks like due dates are different for different books. Um, I was not aware of that until just now. So um, the the Magus, uh, it looks like it is due in about two weeks, and the other ones are is due in about 20 days. And if you need to, you can renew them. You can change the way all of this looks. I've got this set up to make it easy for me, easier for me to read. But you know, your eyes may be different than mine. I believe I am quite dyslexic. So I have chosen to toggle the dyslexic font. You see, if I take that off, it's a more normal looking font. 
and I can see, even though the font looks a little goofier, it is easier for me to read. Now you can change the language, there's, there's other settings you can change, lots of options, but also very easy to use. So if you need any help with this or have any questions, uh, please come contact me. Uh, that's all I have. Hopefully this is helpful to you. Hopefully you use this resource. Um, if you can't find a book in our library, I would recommend seeing if it's available as an ebook. Uh, so for a lot of people, it's, it's harder to read off of a device than it is a book, and I understand that. Um, but if you can change this background to dark with light letters and change it to dyslexic font or, or any combination of, of whatever you need that works best for your eyes and makes it easier for it to read. Uh, so that's all I have for today. This is Dr. Compton signing off. Have a good day.